So you're thinking about getting a purebred ragdoll cat. Uh. Well, your best chance of getting one is through a breeder. When adding a ragdoll cat to your family, the most important thing you can do is to find a reputable breeder. A reputable breeder will guarantee the health of your kitten by screening the parents for genetic diseases, giving them the proper vaccinations, and properly socializing the cat. Today, I'm going to show you how to buy a ragdoll kitten from a reputable breeder in six steps. This is my ragdoll cats, Timo and Arya. And this is the litter they came from. There were a total of nine kittens to choose from. Five girls and four boys. Which one do you think is Timo and Arya? I'll let you know later in the video. Choosing a kitten is near the end of the process of getting a ragdoll cat. So let's rewind back and start at the beginning. The first step is to know the traits and characteristics of the ragdoll breed so you can spot a scammer. There are a lot of ragdoll kitten scams online. I want to arm you with the information to see through these scams. Ragdoll cats have deep blue eyes, a laid back personality, and come in several patterns. So if a kitten does not fit these characteristics, it may not be a ragdoll cat. I made a video about the ragdoll breed in more detail. You can find the link in the description below. Another warning sign is cheap kittens. In the US, ragdoll kittens from a reputable breeder registered with the TICA or CFA can cost from $1,500 to $3,500 depending on the quality and pattern of the cat with a show quality costing more than a pet quality cat. It costs money to raise ragdoll kittens the right way. Responsible breeders vaccinate the kittens, perform genetic tests, and only breed a few healthy kittens a year to give the breeding cats time to rest and recover. Kittens priced too cheaply are often backyard breeders that may actually sell you a mixed breed or kittens with health problems. After learning about the breed, it's time to look for reputable breeders either locally or farther away. You can start by going to the TICA, the International Cat Association, or the CFA, the Cat Fanciers Association, to look at the list of ragdoll cat breeders they have listed. Usually, these listings are paid by registered breeders to advertise their cattery, and not all of them are there but it is a great place to start. Another way to look for a ragdoll breeder is to look at the ragdoll champions listed on the CFA or TICA. These are ragdoll cats that have won numerous titles at a cat show. Ragdoll cats that best demonstrate the breed standard. Kind of like winning a beauty pageant for cats. Usually, you can find the cattery that produced these winners on the CFA or TICA website. The cattery name is usually in the middle between the titles one and the name of the cat. For example, the cattery here is Dalla Villa. The kittens you get from these catteries are truly stunning and best reflect the ragdoll breed standard. Attending a cat show is also a great way to find a ragdoll breeder you can get a good idea of how they treat their cats by watching how they interact with them. It is also a great way to ask them any questions you may have. Lastly, you can use Google or Yelp to search for a ragdoll cat breeder. Just make sure to look up the cattery in the TICA or CFA database. All reputable breeders are registered with a TICA or CFA and you want to make sure the cattery you're looking at is legitimate. If you enjoyed this video so far, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell. We make videos on helping you become the best cat owner, so please join us. Once you narrowed your search to a few ragdoll breeders, you can then email them. A good breeder is committed to finding a good home for their babies, owners that cherish them for their entire life, and may ask you a few questions, so do not take offense. 
Questions may include your living situation, your understanding of the necessary care and responsibility required, and whether you had experience with pets in the past. Questions you may want to ask the breeder include the lineage of the pedigree cat you wish to have your kitten. The lineage of a pedigree cat is recorded by a recognized cat association to prove its ancestry, such as the CFA or TICA. For example, this is Timo and Arya's family tree. On their mother's side, the grandparents are Prince Olo and Penny. They are absolutely beautiful. I can see where Timo and Arya got their looks from. This is their mother, Olivia, who is absolutely stunning and also has a loving personality. And lastly, this is their father, Cracker Nuts. He's a big boy with huge muscles. I think this is where Timo got his bulging muscles from. All these cats are officially registered as ragdoll cats, including Timo and Arya. Another question you may want to ask is how are the kittens raised and in what environment? Or whether the parents test negative for genetic mutations like HCM, which increase the risk of cats going into sudden cardiac death. Keep in mind that responsible breeders often offer a health guarantee from genetic defects for several years. You have done your research and you're ready to choose a ragdoll breeder. A few final red flags to be aware of is if the breeder pressures you to buy. Scammers usually create a sense of urgency so they can quickly get the cash and disappear. They may also use sketchy payment methods like wiring money or payment by gift cards. So just be cautious. For most reputable breeders, their kittens are in high demand, and they usually have a long wait list of people willing to buy. So there's no need for a reputable breeder to pressure you to buy. If you're still undecided, you may also want to visit the cattery to see how the cats are raised. A visit can help you gauge a cat's personality or social skills. Plan to visit only one cattery per day to prevent diseases or germs being spread from cattery to cattery. Not all breeders are comfortable with letting strangers into their home, and you can ask for a video or photo of the kittens instead. So you have chosen your breeder. The next step is placing a deposit for a kitten. Now it is time to wait. I waited about six months for Timo and Aria. It was a long and worthwhile wait. After the breeder notifies you that your kitten is born, the fun part begins, choosing your kitten. Depending on where you are on the waitlist, that is the order you choose. So if you're first in line, you get to pick first. For Timo and Aria's litter, I had the first pick. There were nine kittens in total. That is more than the average litter size of four kittens. All the kittens were able to survive due to the heroic efforts by the breeder. In the wild, not all the kittens survived birth. So which one is Timo and Aria? Well, if you guessed kitten four and eight, you're correct. In my case, I could only choose based on the photos. I'm glad it turned out this way. I may not have picked Aria if I had seen the kittens in person because she was such a shy cat. But Aria is the sweetest soul when you get to know her and quite funny as well. This is her doing the triple axel. So keep in mind, when choosing a cat, a shy cat's personality may just be as beautiful. Comment down below, which kitten would you have chosen? The last step is to pick up the kittens from the cattery. This is where you sign the contract and pay the breeder. Kittens on average go to their new homes around 12 weeks of age. This is so cats can be well socialized by spending the extra time to develop with their mother and litter mates. Your kitten will also have learned how to use the litter box by the time it goes home with you. Before you leave, the breeder will provide you with the information on your kitten's current diet and care. The breeder may also provide you with a care package with your kitten's current food, litter, and toys to get your new family member off to a good start. I hope this video was helpful in helping you buy a ragdoll kitten. 
If you're interested in watching Timo and Arya's first day home, I'll link the video in the description below.